After nearly two weeks of competition and jaw-dropping feats of athleticism, the Paris 2024 Paralympics will close on Sunday, September 8th. So far throughout the Paralympics' 549 medal events, China tops the table in terms of gold medals, 71, and total medals, 163. After Great Britain, 82 total, 35 golds, Team USA athletes have brought home 77 medals in all, including 27 golds. There's plenty for the world's greatest para-athletes to celebrate in the closing ceremony on Sunday. Like the Olympics closing ceremony, the festivities will be held at the Stade de France. Keep reading for everything you need to know about watching the Paralympic closing ceremony and what to expect when you do. Paralympic closing ceremony date and time. The Paralympic Closing Ceremony will be held on Sunday, September 8th, starting at 8.30 p.m. Central European Summer Time, 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Like the Olympic Closing Ceremony, the Paralympic Closing Ceremony will take place in the Stade de France. Both the Olympic and Paralympic Opening Ceremonies made history by holding the proceedings in the middle of the city. Paralympic Closing Ceremony Tickets the Paralympic closing ceremony requires tickets and is not free to attend. The initial ticketing option has sold out, though resale tickets are available at a markup. If you'd like to tune in to the closing ceremony in real time, television coverage will begin at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on CNBC, with Peacock carrying it on streaming. The ceremony will also be available to rewatch after the fact on Peacock. What to expect from the closing ceremony program? The traditional elements of the closing ceremony are the closing parade of nations, musical and artistic performances, and then one host city passing the torch, figuratively and literally, to the next. Per Billboard, the closing ceremony musical performances will highlight the French electro scene, with Jean-Michel Jarre opening and closing the ceremony and 24 French electronic artists making appearances. Thomas Jolly, the artistic director for the Olympic opening and closing ceremonies and the Paralympic opening ceremony is serving the same role for the Paralympic closing ceremony. Victor Lomain is the musical director and Romain Pissanem is director slash designer of festival. Like the Olympic closing ceremony, the Paralympic closing ceremony serves as a handoff from one host city to the next and Los Angeles organizers will provide viewers a sneak peek at what to expect from LA 28. The handover ceremony will feature Team USA Paralympians and Los Angeles residents Samantha Bosco, Ezra Freck, and Jamal Hill. All three are Paralympic medalists, with Bosco and Freck taking gold in the Women's Time Trial C4 Road Cycling event and the Men's 100m T63 and High Jump T3 competitions. Hill who finished fifth in the men's 50-meter freestyle S9 swimming event at Paris 2024, took bronze in the event at Tokyo 2020. Following the passing of the Paralympic flag, Tony Award, winning actress and Broadway star Ollie Stroker, will sing the U.S. national anthem at the Stade de France. Then, over at Venice Beach in Los Angeles, musical performances will be staged featuring jazz pianist Matthew Whitaker, violinist and singer-songwriter Galen Leah, rapper, songwriter, and athlete Garnett Silverhall, and performing artist Anderson Dupac. After the handoff, adaptive skateboarders Oscar Loretto Jr., Kenya Sesser, and wheelchair motocross athlete Aaron Wheels Fotheringham will show off their skills during Dupac's performance, accompanied by actress Lauren Ridloff. Don't forget like, share, subscribe, my channel Babu Das News.